there's no guarantee is that Paula, you know, on some hands, you may find it's absolutely best to lead Trumps um, to cut down their their roughs. Um, on this hand, actually, the heart lead helps north south, helps declare her. Um, but there's nothing going to stop four spades here with the king of clubs. Here, east knows that if west has got any, any clubs, anything in clubs, it's going to be sat underneath north, who's bid clubs. Um, so probably starting off with a diamond or hoping for some heart tricks is going to be the best bet but uh, you know the ace of diamonds could end up just giving north a diamond trick that they they're not entitled to like I said no guarantees in this game okay the thing is here because of the the likely club position that anything in in clubs that partner has is going to be sat underneath um, the club bidder um, it's probably better to try and make tricks in the red suits rather than lead trumps which is likely only just to help declare here okay so we never jump to the four level to show a maximum hand there's nothing like uh, there is over two clubs here um, so opener always over the three diamond inquiry always just shows whichever major they have at the three level um, and now over that three no trumps is natural four clubs is always invitational if you had a weak hand and and you had say three small clubs you would just pass three clubs rather than um, going looking for a major first so if you go looking for a major first and then give preference to clubs um, it's invitational so you can't do it with a weak hand over the major four diamonds is an asking bid called beta um, uh, we haven't got to asking bids yet but uh, I just mentioned that here um, with the proviso that since responder hasn't shown which suit they're agreeing they have to set the final contract over the beta response it's a, a one-time only deal that you get to find out how many controls how many aces and kings north has but that's it um, it's not a, a continuation that's used very often if uh, opener has a good hand I mean we're talking probably 16 plus uh, then there are other routes that they can take which uh, get us straight into an asking bid sequence but we revisit the three club opening once we've dealt with asking bids um, I'm not going to spend much time on asking bids today I'll mention where they are but I'm not going to explain what happens with those sequences okay so a five heart raise is obviously invitational um, and probably looking for trump quality rather than uh, anything else since uh, responder could bid four diamonds beta over three hearts and then agree hearts um, at whatever level if they were more interested in how good openers controls were any questions so far okay so that's the main thing is that if you've got one major and some clubs um, don't use the three diamonds inquiry because if you if partner bids the other major which is normally what's going to happen <laughs> certainly if it was me um, then you can't now just give preference to clubs because it's invitational 
So by all means, use the three diamond inquiry if you've got both majors because you're guaranteed a fit and you can just pass whichever major opener bids at the three level. Um, and you can do that with as weak a hand as you like. It's not three diamonds isn't promising any points. Um, but if you've got a weak hand with support for clubs, you're better off just passing three clubs knowing that opener is probably lower range i won't guarantee you know it might be mid-range but they won't be they won't have a bursting maximum for their three club opening because as i've said normally if you have got a bursting maximum uh, you should be considering opening one club rather than three club because it saves you two rounds of bidding okay so if you use the three diamond inquiry um Four diamonds beta is the only asking bid option that you have. Um, and it, it doesn't establish an asking bid sequence. So if you use the three diamond inquiry, apart from beta, you are um, not going to get into an asking bid sequence at all. There's no entrance ways. After the three diamonds inquiry, normally responder passes, bids the final contract of three no trumps or four of the major or five clubs or they can make an invitational bit of four clubs or a beta asking for diamonds but thereafter if they use beta they've got to just set the final contract okay so the three diamonds requires very simple um, uh, it's a little bit like stamen almost um, any questions before we move on um, I'll come to interference a bit later on, Paula. Okay, I've got a specific section at the end of the session on uh, on what we do over interference. Um, so if you don't mind, just we'll just uh, lodge that question and come back to it. Okay. No problem. It's fine. Okay, I did mention that. I'm not going to um, really cover asking bids um, over three clubs. There are some asking bids, and I will just mention it briefly. Um, but we do, like I said, we do revisit three clubs a bit later in the series once we've covered asking bids. And uh, I'll go through this in, in a lot more detail then. Okay, so we've dealt with pass over three clubs, and um, I'll say in advance that three no trumps over three clubs is just natural and to play. Uh, normally guaranteeing a club fit, but also decent stops elsewhere and some quick tricks, um, but no four card major. If you had a four card major, you would be um, bidding three diamonds first. Or if you had a weakness in one particular major, you might bid three diamonds first. Um, in the hope that partner is going to show that major and now you can bid three no trumps. Okay, so responses of three hearts and three spades over three clubs are an asking bid called Eater in that suit. Um, Eater is asking about partner's suit. Um, when they're known to have a four card holding in that suit now clearly over three clubs we don't know that partners got a four card holding in one particular major um, partner might and in fact probably does have the other major um, but in this particular instance uh, the eat ask or the responses to this eat or ask actually have an extra step inserted as the one set response which shows no four card holding in that suit. If you potentially want to make two eat or asks, one in each major, you ask in spades first when partner bids three no trumps to show a singleton spade and four cards, well, not singleton spade, but no four card spades 
and four card hearts. Now four hearts is eater in hearts. Okay, I'm not going to spend more time on these eater asks um, today because it's just going to be um, too confusing when I've not explained eater and so on. Um, Okay, so at this stage, before you've started using asking bids, you can use three hearts and three spades as something else. So these are showing a limited hands, not strong hands, but limited hands with at least a six card suit, no tolerance for the other major and no decent diamond holding. In other words, they're not the sort of hand where you might bid three diamonds partner shows the other major and now you're going to bid three no trumps three hearts and three spades would definitely not be interested in uh, in playing in no trumps um, and so really the choice the choice for opener is only between playing in that major if they've either got a four card holding or even a decent two card holding in that major or playing in clubs because these are not hands where responder is remotely interested in playing in three no trumps otherwise they would bid it differently okay so you can do that for the time being until we've uh, taken asking bids on board um, or you can find some other use for it for three hearts and three spades um, but just bear in mind that once asking bids are in the mix, three clubs, three hearts, and three clubs, three spades are asking bids in that major. So if you've got perhaps a tolerance for clubs, one major, and diamonds, you're better off using three diamonds inquiry because when partner shows your major you can bid game in it and when they show the other major you can you're in a position to bid three no trumps so if you're going to do what I've just suggested before um, it's definitely uh, not showing a good enough holding to want to play in three no trumps if partner's got the other major Okay, any questions before we move on? I haven't got too many uh, example hands for this, I'm afraid. Um, Just bear with me a minute. Right, sorry about that. I was just uh, trying to construct a hand. Um, okay. Uh, this is this east hand here is fairly marginal for three clubs. Um, I would seriously consider opening one club with this hand. But just for the sake of example... So this is not playing three hearts and three spades as eater. This is before we've started playing um, 
asking bids. So here, obviously, East is going to be quite happy just to bid four spades. And in fact, of course, you're going to make six spades, but um, because the clubs are, are well coming in. Um, but at this stage, you know, it just shows the mechanism. Um, like I said, personally, I would open that east hand with one club, and now you probably do get to six spades. Um, when you open it with three clubs, you're potentially denying yourselves bidding space. Uh, indeed, you know, if, uh, sorry, if uh, East really wanted to do themselves a favour over three spades, they could actually do this, which would clearly be a cubid agreeing spades. Can't be anything else. Um, and uh, now it's difficult for East to continue. This is a tough slam to reach. Uh, it just happens to be the clubs are coming in for six tricks. So Ops either get the heart trick or not, but they're never getting a diamond trick. Um, but that's why this hand is, is probably better open one club. I would certainly seriously consider it. Any questions? I think here he would bid three diamonds with that west hand uh, Barry because um, when it goes three clubs, three diamonds, three hearts from east, now he can bid four clubs as an invitation and that's fair enough. Um, because West's got a hand that's arguably worth an invitation given the club fit. Um, okay. Like I said, if you're concerned about not getting to six clubs here, six spades rather, um, then the issue is really with East's choice of opener. Um, that is that east hand is absolutely as good as three clubs can be uh, and personally I would be opening that with one club
and now it goes one club, one no trump, showing spades. Um, two clubs asking about controls, two hearts, two spades asking about spades. Um, and we're away to the races and we get to six spades, no problem at all. Okay, so there's only two other defined responses. Three no trumps, 100% natural. And um, four clubs by an unpassed hand um, is an immediate asking bid in clubs. So, you know, four, three clubs, four clubs, if a uh, responder isn't a passed hand, is an immediate asking bid in clubs. And, uh, uh, and again, we're now off to the races. Um, but that's normally for hands that are 16 plus. Um, if responder is a passed hand, then four clubs is just invitation, but it's unbalanced. Um, in other words, a maximum pass, but no interest in three no trumps. Um, and again, very often the, the pivotal suit in terms of whether we're interested in no trumps or not is usually the diamond suit. If you've got clubs and one major, the chances are a partner has the other major. Um, if you've got the diamonds, then very often three diamonds is the way to go. If you haven't got diamonds, um, then it's unlikely that you're ever going to want to play in three no trumps. Any questions about the three no trump or the four club response to three clubs? Again, I'm not going to spend time on, on the asking bid side of this today. I've mentioned that, but we come back to three clubs later in the series. Uh, and we'll go through all the asking bid sequences then once you know what the asking bids are. Otherwise, there's too much to explain. Like I said before, towards the beginning, um, apart from those responses up to and including three clubs, there are no defined other defined responses. So four diamonds and upwards are all essentially up for grabs. Um, and like I said, if you want to play them as drop dead with a long, long suit, we're probably talking at least seven card suits, um, and an essentially weak hand, then that's fine. Um, as long as you understand that any decent hand is going to go a different route, that opens up four diamonds, four hearts, and four spades just to be, um, I hear, but uh, um, I've got the sort of hand where uh, if you want to get any use out of my hand, we've got to play in my suit, not one of yours, because I'm weaker than you are. Okay, let's have a look at interference. In fact, no, before we do that, just another couple of uh, example hands. Oops. Sorry. Again, the critical thing here um, is very often the diamond suit. Um, here, North Diamonds are robust enough that it's an almost certain double stop in diamonds 
Um, very often diamonds is what ops are going to end up attacking. Um, and uh, so here with the fitting clubs three diamonds is a reasonable enough uh, try and then three no trumps over three hearts obviously if south showed spades uh, we'd end up in four spades Any questions? Okay, interference. Okay, so what we retain and what we discard very much depends on exactly what the interference is. Okay, so a double, redouble is, is just decent values, but no good club fit. In other words, we fancy our chance of making three clubs redoubled. Um, uh, it probably doesn't have a, a club shortage. I don't think you'd want that. But it's probably no better than a, a decent tolerance. Um, and basically, you're anticipating a penalty because you don't think ops can make anything at the three level again vulnerability as usual plays a part in your decisions in that score but redouble is values but without a good club fit but probably does have a tolerance and also you probably won't have four cards in both majors because otherwise you go looking Everything else is as per what I've already outlined. So over a double of three clubs, three diamonds is still the inquiry asking which major. Nothing changes. And none of the other bids change. Um, the double, basically, we ignore apart from what redouble means. Okay, so we can't redouble now, but now double over three diamonds is the major suit inquiry. In other words, it's a bit like a sort of lost bid double. Um, it's just saying I would have bid three diamonds. Uh, so it's not a penalty double. It's three diamonds, three clubs, three diamonds, double. Uh, it's just asking which major opener has. And everything else is the same. So bids of three hearts and three spades are still eater. An immediate bid of four clubs. Um, uh, is gamma. Because again, if you wanted to invite in clubs, you would double three diamonds, find out which major opener has, and then bid four clubs, which is invitational. Okay, if ops overcall in a major, now a double is negative showing the other major. Um, and, and probably a limited hand. In other words, uh, we're not necessarily interested in a slam. Um, Opener can, of course, pass this double for penalties if they've got the other major, if they want. Um, but if it goes, for example, three clubs, three spades over call, four hearts is immediately 
eater in that suit. As I've explained there, but again, more on that when uh, we've looked at the asking bids. Okay, so a double of if they overcall three no trumps, I don't think it's, this has ever happened. Um, uh, but a double is. 100% penalties implying a club fit and we're going to lead clubs and uh, so clearly the double of three no of their three no trump overcall um, would be showing values as well in other words there's no other suits that you think they're going to be able to run it's the sort of hand that would probably have been bidding three no trumps over three clubs with or without three diamonds first. So if Ops bid three no trumps, now four diamonds is the inquiry asking about the major and implying that you want to be in four of a major or five clubs or more. But four diamonds just becomes the inquiry asking which major they have. We're just doing it one level higher. By, by far, I have to say, by far the most common response over three clubs is three diamonds. Um, uh, exponentially more, more frequent than anything else. Um, so if the interference comes over the three diamonds inquiry, which if responders are going to bid anything, like I said, is, is what they normally bid. Um, Again, we're back to negative doubles, really. If uh, the interference is in a major, the double shows the other major. And a pass will tend to show, or will show, um, a four card holding in, in their major. Uh, and now, obviously, a double by responder is for blood, as I've said there. Um, if ops double the three diamonds inquiry, presumably just showing diamonds, we completely ignore it. Okay, we just bid as if they hadn't doubled. Um, because we're never interested in playing in diamonds. And it's accepted that, that probably diamonds is going to be their suit. So we just ignore it. Does that, uh, I can't remember who it was who asked earlier. Um, I think it was Paula, wasn't it? Does that answer your question about uh, what we do over interference, Paula? Was there anything else you wanted to ask? A deathly silence. Oh, I found it now. Yes. So, so over three clubs and an overcall of three diamonds, double is indeed the forcing inquiry asking which major opener has. As you would expect, because it's consistent with other parts of OCP. Okay, I mentioned uh, that this week's a fairly easy week. Um, the other reason it's a fairly easy week is that I don't have that many um, example hands for you to play with. But I do have a couple.
So, could I have four victims or volunteers, please? I think I'm going to get a nice... Shouldn't be. Try refreshing your browser. Hang on. Is there anybody else that uh, I normally get deluged in complaints if the voice actually goes off at my end? So if it's gone off at your end, the most common thing is that you need to refresh your browser page. Are you back with us, Paula? Come on, three more, please. Thank you very much, guys. Hang on a second. Okay, claim eight tricks, please, Esther. Because you're not going to make nine, I'll tell you now. <laughs> Ever hopeful, Esther. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't think I did say before that, that diamonds is a pivotal suit um, because it's the one suit you can almost guarantee that West won't have a decent holding in here I don't think on this particular hand that East's diamonds are good enough to bid three no trumps you might be lucky 
you might not even get a diamond lead you might get a spade lead um, but uh, personally I would bid four clubs over three spades and that would be invitational in clubs which is about right for East's hand and as you can see here um, if West decides to pass four clubs then that's fine if they bid five clubs you are actually going to make 11 tricks um, but the hands actually fit quite nicely so I would bid four clubs I like I said I don't think um, East really get, wants to get into three no trumps you can see six tricks in clubs coming um, but you're needing partner to have a specific kind of hand here where they're almost void in in hearts and with good diamonds when partner's got a singleton diamond there's no way in a million years you want to be in three no trumps um, if partner's got the ace king of clubs it's very unlikely they've got the ace of hearts or the ace king of spades because uh, that would give them a near maximum and they'd probably be opening one club okay any questions on this hand before we move on so I, I said I would have bid three diamonds but over three spades I would bid four clubs and then just however the uh, the die falls that's fine you have to bear in mind that the, the three clubs opening is a little bit of a blunt instrument um, we've taken these hands out of two clubs because it helps two clubs but we don't have a huge number of facilities over three clubs because you're starting at the three levels so you don't have a lot of space for exploration I've just been given a look by Naomi because she's had to go and get her own coke from the fridge okay claim 13 tricks please all right don't claim 13 tricks but certainly claim 12 um, depending on which red suit finesse you take um, okay uh, you have to think on your feet in these example hands I've said before in this lesson um, that hands that are maximum with this kind of shape almost certainly are better off opening one club rather than three clubs the east hand with four seven shape is way over that boundary line I would open the east hand one club in a heartbeat here um, and you easily get to six clubs um, um, yes you're gonna make depends how you play the hand you're gonna make anything between 10 and 12 tricks on this hand um, probably 11 on a spade lead against three no trumps 
Um, but uh, you don't want to be in that territory here. The east hand is far too shapely to pass three three no trumps for a start. Um, uh, no blame on on west here, but I would open the east hand with one club, and now it goes one club, one no trump, and so on. Um, but you should be getting to six clubs on this hand, not lingering around in three no trumps because you've got 12, uh, 12 tricks on top almost. In six, in six clubs, they can't lead hearts um, without giving you a heart trick. Um, even if you take a losing heart finesse, they can only leave one round of trumps. Um, and you've got multiple opportunities for picking up your 12th trick. You're always going to get to rough one club in dummy. Sorry, one heart in dummy. Come what may. Um, any questions? Okay, um, claim, uh, I don't know, about 12 tricks. Okay, well done. Um, that's a fairly typical kind of uh, sequence here. Any questions?
Okay, well done, Barry. Nicely bid. You could have bid four diamonds beta, I suppose. Um, you are actually going to make 12 tricks here. Um, in fact, you can make 13. Um, because the king of spades is on side. And you can catch it in the roughing finesse after taking one finesse. And you've got the uh, the club's 2-2. Two -two. But uh, tough to diagnose that. But that's a good uh, good example of just, just having to, to find out what partner's got. West has got a strong hand here. Okay, guys, I don't think I've got any more hands um, I can have for you. Has anybody got any questions before we finish? I know it's an early finish tonight. But it's a very easy week three clubs um, because half of it isn't in the system yet because we've not looked at the asking bids. Most of the complications come with asking bids over three clubs. Um, we actually had this hand with a different West hand earlier and I did say then East is absolutely at the top limit here. Personally, um, I would be opening that with one, one club. Um, rather than three clubs. It swings in roundabouts. You know, sometimes um, you'll find you open it with one club and actually it just lets opt in when partner's got a weak hand, whereas an opening of three clubs would have bought it. Um, and other times you find responder with a strong hand like this and you ended up just denying yourself the space to reach the slam that's there um, so it swings and roundabouts I don't think uh, I would open this west east hand with three clubs personally but that's just my style because I know um, perhaps better than most of you guys, the pros and cons of the intermediate openings rather than one club. Um, when partner's got a weak hand, I can rebid and bids one diamond, I can rebid two clubs. And I'm still um, a level lower than uh, you are opening at three clubs. But I've got the strength of my hand off my chest. I haven't denied a four card major. I'm just showing five plus clubs and a 16 plus hand. And in playing strength terms, I think the east hand is worth it, worth it here. Okay, Barry. So I know I've set, I've set the hands, but I expect you guys to think on your feet when it comes to bidding them thinking that you've got to open them three clubs just because that's the title of the lesson um, doesn't always work <laughs> okay guys listen we're going to leave it there I'm going to get an early night um, and uh, we'll see you next week <laughs>